Can you tell my viewers some jokes? Viewers, what in the world does a pirate pay for corn? Oh, you know, a buccaneer. <laughs> and uh, do you know? All right, give uh, me another one. Do you know why the scarecrow got promoted on his job? No. Because he was outstanding in his field. <laughs> That's pretty good, man. And uh, folks, I got a good one for you. Who was the roundest knight at King Arthur's Round Table? Uh, Circumference. Who? Circumference. Circumference. Uh, that's good. And uh, what did the alien say to the gardener? Uh, Take me to your weeder. <laughs> I get it. Leader, weeder. Yeah. Okay. Do you know what? The uh, dolphin was so sad. Uh -uh. It had no porpoise. <laughs> you got a million of these. I got a bunch of them, sir. And I can dress a little juice like Santa. So I was supposed to go open the show, mm. tell the jokes, and none but less. That's the end of my joke. Here comes the, ba the band, the Chicken Hawks. You guys remember that song? It goes, Ule go to Shesha Sheshwa, Sheshwa, something like that. Ule go to Shesha Sheshwa, Sheshwa. <laughs> As I stumble over myself. Did you glue that dog up there, man? Uh, actually, we both worked in a glue factory together, and there was an explosion, industrial adhesive, and now we're permanently stuck together. We're like super No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Only three? Can't you do five? Uh, yeah. I hate to be a stump, but if you're going to have the air conditioning on all the time, why would you have the doors open, letting all the cool air out? Like, the way people live is such a complete idiocy. Thank you. Thanks you're so welcome. Much. Have an amazing day. You too. Actually, um, if you'd like these two together, make a binaural beat. So this would be really cool. What's a binaural beat? Bin binaural beat. Um, so they're just um, just like th three little ticks off from one another. So when you listen to them, they're really close. Your brain is gonna hear it as. You'll see. What's your name? I'm Michelle. Are you Brett? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hi. How are you? Nice to meet you. Yeah, we've met before. Where, where did we meet? I think we met at a vegan picnic one time. Oh my god. How do you have that good of a memory? Because that must have been at least 10 years ago. <laughs> that pink one so these are alchemy bowls so they're actually uh, a little different than just regular crystal bowls the frosted crystal bowls that you've seen so these have extra overlays on them which is why the residents will continue much longer take your shoes off because there's no, uh, no cell phone, no electronics space. <laughs> 
In there? Oh. Yeah. Just what about a phone or a camera? Is That's that allowed? Probably not. Oh, yeah, okay. Very okay. Space. Can I zoom? Sure. So I think I'm really just starting to understand the benefits of inversion even though I've been doing it kind of on and off for several years lately I've been doing it a lot more and I can see that because I'm getting a lot more blood to my brain frequently I've been doing this several times a day that I think my face is healing faster I think my brain is working better I think I'm going through some serious brain changes hopefully for the better um, if you're consuming really good foods, that is definitely a probability. But um, also, when you're inverted, all of these muscles for your neck and shoulders are being relaxed and released, and that releases the head muscles. There's muscles covering your whole skull. And when you do that, it gives relief to your brain. And so, like, you can't immediately just start doing this for long, long periods of time, probably, because you need to gradually work your way into it, because this is such a powerful healing modality. And I'm putting this definitely in my top 20. And to find something to put in my top 20 this late in the game is really quite amazing. But it doesn't surprise me, because occasionally it does happen. But I'm telling you that any time you get relief from gravity, gravity is a huge detrimental factor for most people. But you don't have to make it always detrimental. If you flip yourself over, it's now an opposite thing. It's a benefit because your, your body, when it's upright all the time, your digestive system is sagging all the time, especially the heavier you are. Think about also the joint problems that people get from gravity. I'm telling you, I have worked on legs that were so sore because people were so overweight and, and knees that were so sore, the tendons and ligaments were so sore because of all that weight pressing down on them. Okay, so think about how the weight of people's bodies is constantly pressing down upon the discs in between their vertebrae. Their cervical vertebrae here get worn down to the point of where doctors have told them that the MRIs, x-rays, whatever, uh, show that their discs are completely worn away. Like imagine how much relief those people would get from just doing this every day and massaging their necks at the same time like this. Okay, so and if that gives relief and it opens up space in between the vertebrae does that possibly and very likely allow for some of those discs to start growing back and creating some space and relief on the nerves that are getting pinched and causing them pain and inflammation totally totally it only makes sense Okay, so this is known by chiropractors and doctors and massage therapists and PEs by as traction Okay, so we're tractioning everything. You can just call it spreading apart. We're spreading everything apart and giving relief. Think of the, the lumbar vertebrae. The lumbar and the, the low back and the thoracic middle back vertebrae that all get compressed all the time. Not now. Right now they're all getting relaxed because I've got my my butt skin, my, my tailbone skin, pressed on that rubber and that's allowing a traction, a nice traction. And my shoulder blades touch, my shoulder blades touch the rubber here and that allows all of this to traction, the whole thing to traction. Uh, uh, when you do movement when you do the movement, it allows everything to align and rotate on an axis. It's freaking amazing to do this. Especially, I think on a flat board it's so good because you're allowing everything, your neck, look, I'm allowing my neck to get back. 
For those of you with a forward head posture, think about it. The place where you've got your dowager's hump right here is being pushed and your head is allowed to go back. You could even accentuate it like by going like this and moving your shoulders around. And I've noticed that my sternum, my muscles all and connective tissue all connecting to my sternum here are all really sore. And you know why they're sore? Because I've been laying on this board so much and it allows my shoulders to stretch back. You want better posture? Lay on a flat board like this, inverted. Look at how powerful that is for getting the shoulders and the head back to where they belong. Because it's all on a dead flat board. Okay, so I'm really glad that I chose this board instead of buying an inversion table because with an inversion table you can't do this. You can't stretch your legs. I do this every time I invert. I stretch my hips. I stretch my legs. I move about. And all of that is really important. And I don't want to be totally inverted straight up and down. Now, I'm not saying that it's not good to try that. I mean, I, I might enjoy an inversion table also, but I definitely want this first and foremost so that I can do all of this. When your ankles are clasped in at the end, obviously you can't do any of this. Look, I can put my foot clear out like that and stretch. It's an amazing tool. So I highly recommend that you get one of these. You'll have to build it yourself. I'm not making them yet. It consists of about a two foot. You may need a 32 inch wide depending on how big you are. But you got a board. You can use plywood. I would recommend the soy based glue plywood like I've used for my benches. And, um, or you could use solid pine with two pieces put together like this. And you got to brace the back of it. And the heavier you are, the more bracing you need. But yeah, oh, and check it out. I put a couple of pieces of wood on the end. This helps it to not kink my foam underneath on my new, newly upholstered massage table. But yeah. Definitely get yourself an inversion board. Thanks for watching my videos. And go to breastnaturalhealth.com, buy some awesome products, get healthy, crack your back, massage your legs, massage your feet, get a good pillow, get a body pillow, get some orthotics, some custom orthotics. Thanks for joining me. Bye.